Hello, and welcome to Shane's Microscope. I'm Shane, and this is my microscope. Let's take a peek. For today's sample, I want to take a look at a slice of carrot. So I'm going to need a tool called a microtome. Micro, you probably already know, is the Greek word for small, and tome comes from the Greek tem, to cut, has the same root as the book tome, which is a cut scroll or a section of a larger work. Now, I don't have a microtome, so don't let that stop us. Let's make one. I've got this plastic tube. I think it came from some kind of medicine. I'm going to need some kind of threaded bolt to push into that tube. I'm going to have a nut that the bolt threads into. It needs a washer on the end for me to have a smooth surface to cut against, and I had this larger nut that isn't going to thread or really attach to anything except through hot glue, and that's just going to provide me a surface to grab onto. So I drilled through that plastic tube, then I attached everything together with hot glue, and looking at the end here, you can see that basically what I have is a plastic tube that something can go into, and then as I screw that bolt in the back, that's gonna push whatever's in there out of the end, and I can cut it against the washer. So I used another one of those plastic tubes on a piece of carrot, so I could get a plug out that fits the exact shape, and we are in business. So I put that plug in there, and as you can see, I can use an X-Acto blade to just cut a thin section. I just turn that bolt a little bit and then when I cut again I get another thin section. Perfect. So as you can see I <laughs> I did that for a little while. I'm making a wet slide preparation. Put one of the little slices on there. Get a little bit of water on top. So that way we can get the proper refractive index through our entire system. Then I'm going to put the cover slip right on there. Tap it down and we're good to go. Looking now under the microscope, it should be apparent why we needed a thin slice. This is a compound microscope, which means that our samples need to be thin enough for light to be able to pass through them. And it looks like, indeed, we were successful in that regard. So you can see there's kind of three regions to the carrot slice. Let's have a look at that inmost region first. That's the xylem the Greek word for wood, and that's what carries water and nutrients from the soil up to the leaves of the plant. You can see that it's relatively low in pigmentation. We can really see the cells in this part here. And as we go up in magnification, you can get a good look at those tracheids. You can probably recognize that from the Greek trachea windpipe. Those are the tubes that water will flow through up to the leaves. And at an even higher magnification, since our depth of field is so low, we can really sort of follow those tubes by changing our focus. That's, that's really neat. Zooming back out again, we're looking at the cambium now. That's the tissue between the wood and the bark. It's from the Latin root meaning change. This is the part of the plant responsible for most of the growth. You can tell that it has much more dense packing of cells in here, and we can see that even better at higher magnification. So when you're looking at, say, tree rings. That growth is happening in the cambium as it experiences seasonal changes and environment and alters its growth rate accordingly. And at a 
even higher power objective, we can see them even more clearly. Going back out to the outer region, we see the phloem. That's the Greek word for tree bark, and that's what carries the sugars produced up at the leaves down to the root. And as we zoom in, we can see even more of the pigmentation in this region. This is the part of the carrot where most of the color is stored. And what is that little thing? Let's zoom in on that. I don't actually have any idea what this is. It appears to be pretty spherical. It could be a bubble in there of some kind, or maybe something that the plant grew around. Don't really know. That's interesting. All right, well, I think we've thoroughly explored the carrot. Thanks for having a look with me. Until next time, keep on peeking.